Brooklyn Independent Television. I'm always shopping in bed -Stuy for the latest of everything. Like tonight, I'm planning a night out on the town at the legendary Sugar Hill Nightclub, where the Central Brooklyn Jazz Consortium will be honoring Chinita Pointer of the Noel Pointer Foundation. It's going to be an incredible evening. My first stop will be the studio for Tasha West Jewelry to meet with Lorraine. She creates beautiful customized pieces and will help me pull my look together for this evening's festivities. Now tell me a little bit about how did all of this get started? Where are you from? Why Bedford-Stuyvesant? Tell me the magic that made you Tasha West Designs. Okay, uh, I'm from Central Islip, New York and I've been living in Bed-Stuy for the past four years and I love it. Bedford-Stuyvesant has amazing architecture, mm -hmm. uh, which mm -hmm. I feel like my designs are inspired by architecture. So tell us about how your career in jewelry design began. I'm a trained illustrator. I studied at Fashion Institute of Technology. I uh, always loved jewelry growing up. So any piece that I make, I want it to work, I want it to last. I've designed for Erica Badu, brass wings and leather wing cuffs that you know are adjustable. I've worked with Common, Raphael Sadiq. Tell me about what is encompassed in a collection. Usually you'd have an earring, a stud or a dangler, a ring, a bracelet like this or you know a cuff, a necklace or a bib. If I wanted to have something custom made specifically just for me, how would I go about that process? Once we have the idea then I'll start to do sketches, and with that, I'll make a pattern. Once I do that, I'll cut the metal, then I'll file the metal down, then I'll do a final finish. Either I can do a matte finish, a high gloss finish, or I can antique the metal. You'll see me in Bedford-Stuyvesant wearing the Tasha West collection. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Now I'm heading over to Not Just Vintage for the perfect outfit to finish my look. La Monica has a wonderful eye for design and detail. This is going to be fun. My name is La Monica Peterson and I am the owner and creative director of Not Just Vintage. Not Just Vintage is a modernized vintage slash thrift store. You can find um, vintage clothing, but we try to keep it modern. We try to follow the trends. You can find current pieces, independent designers uh, like Harriet's Alter Ego, Purple Pillbox, uh, not just vintage, we have our own accessory line, costume jewelry, you can find new handbags, an old 1970 handbags. It's a variety of things you can find in here. We want it to be affordable, you know, we wanted it to be a thrift store, but already handpicked. Your goods are already here. All you have to do is kind of go through and see what you like. Well, I knew I had to pick out a few dresses for Lori, and I've seen her in like classic vintage blouses, so I knew that each piece had to be uh, classy. So La Monica just helped me pick out these three fabulous outfits for my night out on the town, and I can't wait to try them on. I like this dress. It hugs me in all the right places. I feel so Jack A from 227. Ooh, Sandra. I'm looking good coming and going. Very pretty. Oh, wow. I love the way this fits. It's a very classy retro dress. I love these earrings by Tasha West. What I like about them is that they're so contemporary, but yet this dress is so retro. But I can't decide which one I like the best, if I like the black one or the burgundy one. Oh, this is it. This is the dress. Wow, I love the color. This is a vintage dress at its finest. Now this jacket is actually my jacket that I brought. It's best if you can sometimes bring a little piece with you. So I love the color and the earrings, gorgeous. These earrings are all handmade and they just came from Tasha West's new line. This is the dress for tonight. As you can see, I've just been styled by La Monica of Not Just Vintage and I love my new vintage look. 
I'm so excited. Please join me as we're on our way now to the Central Brooklyn Jazz Consortium's 12th anniversary, where they will be honoring Chinita Pointer of the Noel Pointer Foundation. The Noel Pointer Foundation has been providing school-aged children with exposure to music and music lessons from professional musicians. Chinita Pointer is the wife of the late Noel Pointer. We recently caught up with her to learn more. Noel Pointer was my husband. He was a world-renowned jazz violinist and recording artist and composer. He was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. He studied violin at an early age of nine, and he went on to LaGuardia High School to perform and at Manhattan School of Music. That's when Noel actually got his first recording deal with Blue Note Records. You know, every time I look at Channel 13 and I see the orchestras and I think about how many people of color do you see in these orchestras on Channel 13? And you can actually count them on one hand. I said the best way that we could keep his legacy alive is to provide string music instruction to kids in Bedford-Stuyvesant. I love my class like so much. They sometimes make me laugh and stuff. But when I know when I get serious for the violin. I like it good because um, I get to learn how to play violin and show it to my family every time. This is Kalila Coombs, who was the first student who got accepted into Juilliard Music Advanced Program. Music plays a very important role in kids' academics, and all of our kids have gone on to higher studies. The CBJC Award means a lot to me. And because Noel was a jazz violinist, and because it is the Central Brooklyn Jazz Consortium, having that background and being a community person that he was is so fitting. This year we Honor Ms. Janita Pointer, the founder of the No Pointer Foundation. She went ahead and founded an institution to work with the youth of our community. Present you with this award. I thank you so much for this honor. It means so much to me and the community. Thank you so much. You go, Chanita. Wow, what an incredible evening. It was an amazing night. It was both an honor and a privilege to be here as the Central Brooklyn Jazz Consortium celebrated their 12th anniversary by honoring Chinita Pointer of the Noel Pointer Foundation with their Founders Day Award. What could be better? It was an amazing night. Join me as we celebrate and continue the adventure in Bedford-Stuyvesant. Become a fan on Facebook. Like Brooklyn Independent Television. 